How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we are going to be taking a look at how much nitrogen you get from oilseed radish and we know that in the original version of precision farming it wasn't working quite right. Now we're on version 1.0.1.0 and I want to give this another go to see if precision farming and the oilseed radish actually work now to get us some extra nitrogen into the ground save us a little bit of money on our fertilizer costs what we've got is a regular plow base game right here we're going to go ahead and plow this portion of the field to see if we get anything while we're plowing next we have a cultivator right here another base game item it's the rostle mash and we're going to cultivate this part of the field over here and then last we have a direct drill and this doesn't have any fertilizer active right now i've turned that off and we're going to see if direct drilling gets us any fertilizer as well. First thing I want to do, though, is go ahead and show you guys our maps. This here shows that we have oilseed radish planted in field 53 and field 54. If we come down here to our precision farming tab, you can see that my nitrogen levels right now, if I come down here to zero kilograms per hectare, I have absolutely nothing in my fields. Here we have the plow. I'm just going to go ahead and lower this thing down, put my crews on, and just get going. We're going to make a pretty decent pass here along this field just so we can make sure that it's showing up on our map. Now, the goal here is just to see if we can get any nitrogen at all from turning these uh, oilseed radish plants into the ground. Let's take a look at our map here. And as you can see, we are getting a little bit of a boost here. And if I come down to 20 kilograms per hectare, that's exactly what it's going to be. Now, I'm not sure why it's not showing anything over here on the edge. I mean, we're definitely hitting that with the plow, but it doesn't show it. I'm going to let this worker keep going and see if we kind of get a mixed pattern as it works its way across the field. Next, we have the cultivator. I'm going to go into the same thing, lower it down, set my crews. And we're going to come back and take a look here and see exactly how much we get. And I don't see that we're getting anything here. If I turn off zero, yeah, it's showing absolutely nothing here. I'm going to go ahead and hire the worker and maybe something's going to happen, but I'm not very optimistic about this one. And the last thing we're going to test today is direct drilling. You can see down in the bottom of the screen, I don't have any fertilizer in this at all right now. And we are going to go ahead and lower this down, turn it on, set my cruise, and away we go. Now, this hopefully is going to give us a little bit more than what the cultivating did. And once again, it does not look like we are getting anything here from oilseed radish. Y'all, this is very, very interesting that the only way that we're seeing right now to be able to get any type of nitrogen from this oilseed radish is if you are plowing. So I went ahead and grabbed a direct drill seeder now, and I want to see if this one will give us any nitrogen at all. Maybe it's just something that has to do with the planter. And even with, yeah, with this one, nothing either. So y'all, the only thing that I'm seeing right now that's going to give you anything from the oilseed radish is plowing. Let's go take a look at a couple different plows that we now have as mods to see if they're going to do the same thing for us. Here is the Lizard 6MT 9MT. This is a very popular mod here in Farming Simulator 22. And I want to see if this one is actually going to do it for us because it's a very, very popular mod. Now, it is going to give us a plowing status, but I just want to make sure that it is going to give us a little bit of nitrogen here. So we're going to go ahead and jump over. And yes, yes, this one definitely, definitely does. And this one here is the John Deere 2410 plow. As you can see, it's also giving us a plowed status. And this one is a relatively new mod here on the Mod Hub. And it's going to be a very, very popular mod because of the width of it. And as you can see here on the map, this one is also giving us 20 points of nitrogen. If I turn off my zero and then turn off my 20, yep. So it looks like only things that are classified as plows are going to be the ones that give us the 20 points of nitrogen here. And I really don't think it's going to be worth running your oilseed radish to only get 20 points of nitrogen. Now, if you're looking to put something in your fields over the wintertime, um, maybe, right? But you've got to plow it. Um, so maybe if you've got to plow your fields after corn or something like that, this might be a great way. But you're going to have the initial cost of the seeds themselves that's going to take away some of that savings that you're going to have. You know, unless you're using the AGI pack maybe and you can make your own seeds, that might be a thing. But I really, I don't know. It's just, it's really strange that you can't get any nitrogen from cultivating or direct drilling right now. Maybe that's something that's going to get fi fixed or changed in another future version of precision farming. But as of right now, guys, 
plowing is the only way. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my future precision farming or any of the other videos that we do here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too. But while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.